He gave to me a drop of rain Told me it would ease my pain But no one told me it would take this long In the introduction to her book, Art is a Spiritual Path, Pat Allen says, Art is a means to enter, to play with, to dance with, to wrestle with, anything that intrigues, delights, disturbs, or terrifies us. I didn't really realize what that meant until last Thursday. It was a regular Thursday, and I was ending my day with the usual amount of questioning. What do I want to do with my life? How do I make money doing what I really enjoy? Should I just get any job until I figure it out? And the more I tried to figure out, the more I hit walls. I had recently learned about Pat Allen's studio process and wanted to experiment. First, I gathered up all the materials. I got my favorite chair and pulled it close to the fire. After a few breaths, with my paper in hand, I set my intention. I explore possibilities about my future. At first, my artwork looked like all my artwork does. I drew what I thought I was supposed to draw. There were kids, a studio, my dog, nature. It all felt flat. I flipped the paper over and sunk a little deeper in my chair and started over. This time it felt different. I let my hands take over and they started drawing lines. First one across a page and then another and then another. And they kept going over and over. And then a word came, flow. Another word came, kindness. And another word came, project and do. And then my superego got in the way, and it started saying things like, you need to add joy and paycheck and brain work. And once again, it felt flat. I started over again, and this time the source gave me an image. The image was two hands, and coming from the fingertips was this white, powerful energy or light. I created until I no longer felt the need to put more on paper. And then I followed the instructions to sit in front of my artwork quietly and just notice what it looked and felt like. After contemplating, I was supposed to write all the things that I was thinking. Here's what I write. My hands are reaching out, giving. I need to do, create, make, be physical. The energy is coming from my fingertips. I use my life force, my inherent energy, to put out into the world. It's red like fire. The blue and green lines create another form of giving back. And I have two hands. The one on the left is clearer, it's larger, more defined. That one is putting out into the world. The right hand is weaker and seems to be reaching. It wants something back from what it puts out. It wants balance and flow. The lines represent the flow, the natural flow of creating and being in the zone. Right next to the hands are the brightest colors. That's the doing, the action, the point of impact. The waves carry the impact away and the energy continues to move out, but it's not as intense. Is the intensity a connection with others, living things? It's good energy, it's warm, yet still undefined. It's telling me to continue creating. As I read what I wrote, I was stunned. I couldn't believe that the artwork, the hands, the words came from me. The final step was to ask my partner to bear witness, to sit without judgment and listen to what I was saying. Pat Allen had come up with a process that seemed genius. To trust in myself, relax, be mindful, and let the source of energy tell me what I already knew. <laughs>